is an older generation that is not capable of cutting advanced high strength silk. The cutter that we're actually going to use for this demonstration to remove the door uh, that Wade has right here is the newer generation and it not only can cut door hinges and door latches, it can also cut the advanced high strength steel. When we lay the tool cup two cutters side by side, you'll be able to see the, the differences in what the tool engineers had to do to ramp the cutter up to be powerful enough to deal with, this, with the uh, advanced steel. They're going to work on the two front door hinges to get them cut and, then, and any retainer straps that might be there. They're also going to work on cutting the wiring harness, what we refer to as the umbilical cord, and then that door will come completely off. Now, we're going to simulate that due to the patient condition or due to the emergency medical people inside telling us, they also now want the back door open and they just informed us now they need the center pillar taken off. So once again, we're going to force the rear door at the latch using the hydraulic spreader, the power spreader tool. That'll force it or stretch it at the, stress it at the latch. They'll get the latch mechanism to release. And then we have a choice. We can either cut the rear door off and then attack the B pillar individually, or we can open the rear door, what they're doing now, and leave it attached to the B pillar, and they can cut the B pillar and take the B pillar and the rear door off at the same time. So we have a couple of choices, and it would depend on crash damage or how, how the rescuers work out with the actual vehicle that they're working on. But the, the call is to get the rear door open, get the rear door off, and to remove the B pillar. At this point, any fire department anywhere in the country would have the capability of doing what we're doing so far. Our reciprocating saw will cut the door hinges. Our air power tools will cut through things. The, the spreader will do its thing. So we aren't into any of the advanced high strength steel challenges just yet. But our scenario is that that center pillar is, is obstructing patient removal and that's when the crew for the first time will be confronted with working with the advanced high strength steels that are inside the structure of the B pillar. So they're working now to get the rear door open fully and that will allow them to get the door off. The advanced high strength steel that's in the collision beam on the door actually is good for us. It, it keeps the door stiff so it stays together as a good unit when we go to literally get it out of the way. They cut through the wiring harness, the upper door hinge. Now as they sever that bottom door hinge, we'll be able to get that door out of the way and that will simply leave us the, the center pillar, the knee pillar, to work with. All right. Now, the assignment is continue to remove that pillar, and now we're dealing with uh, integrated into, the, into this uh, Ultima is the advanced high strength steel. Let's do the center pillar now, total removal on that. You guys want to get started on the windshield, Kevin? As soon as the crew gets started doing the B pillar removal, suddenly the call comes out from inside, I think we're going to need the roof off. So we're, we're going to demonstrate that. Yeah. So typically the answer, my response is, oh, really? So, so we're going to make this into a convertible. And now, typically we'll bring patients out the side, but we're going to show you how we can bring them out the top as well. Yeah, finish that, and let's get this completely off. You notice it's going through the 980 uh, steel that's
in our simulation. At this point, a typical crash scenario, the occupants would be brought out to the side that we opened up. We call that total sidewall removal. Or the occupants could be brought out vertically in what we call a rapid extrication, out through the, the brand new sunroof that we put into it. I want to go one step further. It's only going to take a couple more minutes. I want to pretend I want to pretend that the occupant driver is trapped due to uh, structure IP and the structure that has come back onto him. So this is a scenario that we're going to work through where we're taking this, this uh, the base of this A pillar, the, the front door hinge area, we're going to make some very strategic cuts down in this area to create a notch. Then we're going to use our power spreader as a lifting tool and we're going to essentially try to lift steering wheel, steering column, pedals, instrument panel, and that front structure up and off of the simulated trap driver. The cutter that we're using again is this large one with the thicker blades. It is the newer generation designed to cut through the stronger uh, steel. We're going to make some strategic cuts down low in that area and then we'll use the power spreader that opens in and part. We'll use it uh, in a, a kind of a, in a notch that we create to do the lifting action. This could be done on either side. We do it on this side because it's a little bit more visual because you'll see the wheel and the column and everything going up and out of the way. Note the IP, oh my God. steering God. wheel, steering column, pedal. The patient doesn't care if the car goes up or the floor goes down. The patient just wants out. That's good. Now we're going to it. This 2011 Ultima does have advanced high strength steel from about the mirror up through the A pillar, across the roof rail, and including the B pillar. If you notice, we had no difficulty in any of our efforts to work with it here or here because this fire department, after the program two, uh, 2009, went out and purchased the upgraded state-of-the-art equipment to deal with it. Other than that, a fire department without new equipment would have to come up with alternative ways, such as doing a total sunroof or bending things or moving things rather than cutting. So I want to thank, again, the Livonia firefighters for their, for their help and their dedication.